Uh, hello everyone again. Today uh, I'm going to show you the uh, fuel filter uh, replacement of the uh, Ford C-Max 62 plate 1.6 uh, diesel. Okay, first I'm going to clear uh, all this area with the moderate uh, pressed air. and also here as well. So I have dust, dust freed all the uh, area, all the connector, fuel connector. So, so I'm going to remove these three uh, I think it's 8 milli uh, meter head balls. So press this down and then pull it out back. So, now just get it.
so this cannot be taken out So take out like so, then you need to remove this screw, this screw and this screw. That's going to be, to be like this. So this is the old filter. I'm going to show you the new filter as well. So this is the new filter and uh, I'm going to uh, lubricate this filter a little bit. So lubricate this filter a little bit then put this, this two hole. This, this two holes must be aligned with these two holes. So do it like so.
should be aligned like this then tightening the screws So remove this three screws and then pull the uh, top uh, cup from the filter and that's going to come with the uh, uh, sensor and uh, a top uh, cover. Then this is the gasket I put new one as you can see this is the yours and put the cover back and uh, make sure you that the sensor is uh, aligned with this hole and uh, to uh, make sure uh, prevent future leakage so now i'm going to install uh, the fuel filter and uh, bleed with the <coughs> uh, priming tool under pressure because the customer is waiting here while I'm doing this and the customer has children as well so I'm a bit under pressure so hopefully Fasting the screws and this is uh, eight uh, millimeter socket, so I'm going to put this socket back and uh, I'm going to uh, connect this one back. this connector bar yeah. and connect the 
this part out. Yeah, everything is connected back. Now I'm going to bleed the fuel system right now. First I'm going to uh, connect to this top cover as well. Then Clean with the brick cleaner thoroughly. Okay. This is the input uh, fuel line to the fuel filter, and this is the output uh, line, a uh, fuel line to the uh, high pressure injection pump. So I'm going to connect uh, the priming tool or priming <coughs> pump between these two, and now I'm going to. <coughs> Disconnect this. So I'm going to connect the uh, uh, priming tool between this junction. So as you can see, I've connected what one end of the pipe here and like so, and uh, the arrow is toward pointed toward the fuel filter. So. Now I'm going to connect this end okay, to the uh, uh, fuel filter uh, input uh, fuel line. So now I'm going to, as you can see, uh, the arrow is pointed toward the uh, fuel filter input line. You can see here. I'm going to prime the system now. As you can see, the fuel start to emerge in the I'm going, going to continue the, to press and release the uh, priming pump ball until I feel uh, very, very hard to press it or there is a, a good resistance to press the pump. So as I can hear the fuel return and flow and also there is no any bubble existed in the fuel line. Now I'm going to start the engine to climb the engine and see. started very very easily and I'm going to leave for a bit until the whole 
air from the fuel system has blacked out. Priming to this connected like so. Like so, coming from here, this way, and then going. Turn the engine off and now I'm going to disconnect the priming tool from the fuel fuel line here. Okay, that is connected now. the engine and the engine is running nice filter replacement of the Ford S Max 2012 1.6 diesel. Thanks for watching.